Warm greetings to everybody. This is Dr. Dalton Parks. This is my first ever, I think, live talk on Facebook or social media of any kind. As you can see, my hair has grown compared to my uh, profile pictures everywhere. So the next time you see me, I'll be looking like how I normally look. I've been stirred to make this recording because I, I just want to break my silence, you could say. Uh, about 2020 and the way it's gone we started the year which so much promise but it's been changed I will say this recording will run for 8 minutes and 46 seconds in support of George Floyd and Black Lives Matter and the theme we had for our church in Newtown UK this year was 2020 vision we announced it uh, sometime last year not realizing how overwhelmingly powerful things were going to be. However, this year started with so much promise, but it's been hijacked by Corona. And we've technically been in lockdown since March. And even though some of us were being released to go to work and other things, technically, uh, there's still a medical lockdown. We still can't uh, go out as we should. And from what we've been hearing this past week, no more than six at a time can gather. So technically, we're still in lockdown. What I'd like to say a few things about this year, because we had so much expectancy. But in January, look at this. There were 9,927 cases worldwide of coronavirus. Now, on the 20th of uh, September 2020 there's 30 million cases worldwide which has brought about a load of conspiracy theories and exposures I will say about corona be before the coronavirus hit everybody um, it looked as if the world was spiraling towards complete destruction but one thing I noticed is suddenly a lot of people have remembered that God is coming back because all these theories of come to light everybody's talking about the mark of the beast that conversation had gone quiet but now they're speaking about it again because they can see it unraveling right before your eyes end time doctrine through the churches has been suddenly remembered everybody was talking about being prosperity and all kinds of different things but guess what some people are beginning to see that there's a day of reckoning coming and they need to be ready to meet God I think Apart from the corona and the politics and everything that's going on worldwide, the outstanding thing that changed a lot of opinion worldwide, not even in America or the UK, but worldwide, was on the 25th of May, the brutal murder of George Floyd. That death, that murder by the police on the 25th of May, reminds us of so many black people who have been murdered by police and apparently it looks like nothing is being done but for the first time it looks like something is going to change here are some names a young man called Freddie Gray died of a spinal cord injury a week after being arrested how does that happen Sandra Bland found dead in a jail cell three days after a traffic stop confrontation on her way to a new job. The reason why that one stood out to me is because when I go to the USA, I usually hire my car and drive around. I'm thinking, a traffic stop and she ends up dead? Eric Gardner died after being placed in an illegal choke call by a police officer. How can that be justified? Tamir Rice shot dead for playing with a toy gun two seconds after the police arrived. They gave him no chance to say anything. 12 year old young man. Kendra Drame shot in the head by police during a traffic stop. Brianna Taylor shot by police who entered their apartment at 12.40 a.m. in the morning without a warrant. George Floyd murdered by police live on camera on the 25th of May in broad daylight. And that's the one that shook everybody. Why? Because most of the world at that time on the 25th of May we were on, we were on lockdown so uh, most everybody was at home so they had time to sit down and watch this video 
as he was held down for 8 minutes and 46 seconds while his life was taken away from him. If that police officer who has given all the police forces a, a, a bad name, if he'd realised what his actions would have done, he would have jumped off uh, George's neck. But he stayed on there and look at it. If you take away the uniform and take away the uh, black or white, forget the colours, two men had a disagreement. One was on the floor, one was kneeling on his neck. Just two men. No, no uniform, no up police, no nothing. And the one on the floor was saying, I can't breathe. Calling for his mother. But the other one stayed on his neck until he snuffed out his life. Are you telling me that would not be murder? Let's switch it up a little bit. Two brothers. We're having a disagreement and one was on the floor and the other one was kneeling on his neck and he was saying please get off me i can't breathe he called for his mother but this other brother he even had time to put his hand in his pocket while he was kneeling on his neck and snuffing out his life in broad daylight the passers-by were saying get off him he wouldn't come off him until he was snuffed out his life even when the ambulance came and checked his pulse and went back to the ambulance to get the, the stretcher, they st he still stayed on his neck. Are you telling me that's not murder? And they wonder why a lot of black activists and black people and, and even white people everywhere are demonstrating and protesting over this brutality. It, that's called into question. Something's wrong about that. Worldwide protests are still going on and rightly so because that's where we are and I'm praying, we are praying that something comes out of this that can make a massive change forever because 2020 is going to change the world forever. The last straw for me to definitely end my silence and speak was when some people even had the nerve to complain because um, Diversity uh, done a dance the other day on Britain's Got Talent and because it told the story of 2020 with the police leaning on that young man's neck, people complained. Are those complainers actually saying that the actions of that police officer was correct and you shouldn't show it? I'll tell you what, all of diversity did was probably uh, raked up a few consciences, made a few people with no hardly any conscience think again. You can't tell the story of 2020 without talking about the coronavirus and the death of George Floyd. And in detail, you can't. That's my first conversation with everybody. As church people, what can we do? We can't all go out and protest and demonstrate. But I'll tell you what, as ministers, as pastors, bishops, apostles, we can do a video like this. Some of you can do one better than this for eight minutes and 46 seconds and show your support. Everyone on social media can say something. That's a big statement on social media, people of God and people everywhere. If you've made it this far, thank you for listening. God bless you. Everyone, thank you for listening.